So is this the perfect hub for the M2 Mac Mini? Let me show you. Welcome back to the channel. So if you watch my channel, you'll know that I've done a lot of different videos on different hubs. And there's a brand in particular that I love, and it's actually because they do very innovative product design, and they design them specifically for each Mac product. So the name of the company, it's hard for me to say, is Mini Sopuru. And I'll put it up here somewhere so you can see it. Mini Sopuru. That's the name of the company. So overall, what have they done? They, they just design very innovative products, right? If you go back, I'll have some links to this in my video description, but so you can go ahead and watch these old ones. I also have links to these other hubs as well. But if you go back, look at the hub over here. I don't know if you can see this. I'll show you some close-ups as I'm talking. But this basically seeds into the base of the, the iMac right here. This is the 24-inch iMac. It becomes a base for it, and it allows an SSD drive. It's got a whole bunch of ports. That's an incredible hub. It's about 80 bucks or so, and a lot of people are buying that one because it just works really well. And then right after that, I did another one by the same company that actually is a hub that allows up to three external displays, all different content, using an M1 Mac or Apple Silicon. So that was un impossible before with like the, you know, the M1 MacBook Air and stuff like that, but not anymore with that hub. So that's a great design too. And now what we have is this one right here, and this is what we're gonna talk about today. It's an innovative product for your M2 Mac Mini, the one that just came out. Doesn't matter what model, this thing's gonna work and it's gonna be sold, I think, quite a bit of them. Let's talk about it. All right, so if you look at this over here, it comes in a kind of a discrete box. You can see it right here. And again, it's by Mini Superu. What this is, is you look at it and it looks like a stand for your, you know, you've seen these before. It's a stand for your iMac, right? You know, obviously it just seeds in here pretty well, just like that. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's not, it looks like a stand, but if I turn this around and I'll just do this, I'll show you some close-ups, but look over here. There's a lot of ports there. And that's not the main thing about this. I'm gonna get into that in a second, but look at the ports there. So if I turn this back around and I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking. So this thing basically has an SD card reader. So it's basically gonna have, let me just see here. It's got a TF card reader, 104 megabytes per second. It's got an SD card reader, 104 megabits per second. And then it's got two USB-C and they're gonna be, let me see here. 3.2 Gen 2, so they're different, they're 10 gigabit per second plugs on there. So those are the ports you get on this thing, right? And you're gonna be saying, well, obviously you can take this cord and you can connect into this. Now this is a USB-C over here, you can see it here. So this has to be a new enough, IMAC, or new enough uh, Mac Mini that has USB-C up here. I'm actually using an older one as an example. My one that I just got is downstairs, so. But you have to have a USB-C here. So it has to be like the new Apple Silicon. I think some of the Intel had them, but it has to be able to connect with this USB-C connection right here you can see it anyways it connects in like that and obviously you're gonna say well I mean that's not that in, you know ingenious because it's only got four extra ports I mean it gives you a reader and stuff all that stuff's up here on the top why would I need that well not only does it give you the extra stuff and it gives you the stand as, as well and this is all coming in for about 69 bucks but you also let me just take this thing off and put it over here like that, um, but you also get on the bottom of it. This is the kicker here. So on the very bottom of it, you see it's basically got this magnetic kind of a case and it's, you know, this magnetic flap. And you can take that off. You have to have some good fingernails, which I'll do here in a second. I may have to cut if I can't get it. So there it is. It just magnetically comes on and off. All right, once you have the plate off, you can see in here, this is a perfect place for an SSD drive. It says you can put in an M.2 NVMe drive, which is the faster type, or you can put in an M.2 SATA. So it's gonna slot both of those. They give some examples like the Samsung 980 Pro, Samsung 970 EVO, Western Digital Black, SN850. Go to, I'll have a link to this. You can look it up with drives. I mean, any drive that's gonna be NVMe most likely or SATA M.2 can fit in here. So, and it does say, I'll go to these comments in a second, but it does say up to two terabytes only. We'll have to kind of investigate that. Anyways, you slot that drive in there, and I did do that earlier. And then basically this acts as an external hard drive. So not only is this gonna be a stand, it's gonna have some ports in the front, but it's gonna act as that additional storage through this 10 gigabit per second connection right here. Um, so that's actually ingenious because now you're hiding your hard drive. If you buy the base model on the M2 uh, Mac Mini, you're gonna be able to been, add storage very easily. And I'll give you in a second a speed test on this just to show you what it's all about, but it's fairly fast, fast enough for most applications. All right, really quickly before I get too much into this too, it says, there's a couple questions here I just wanna go through. It says, does the Mac Mini Hub support video out and charging? The answer is no. So this is not powered by anything. So you can't do a video out on this. You would do it directly on uh, the Mac Mini. And it's not really for that. And then also the charging. It doesn't have a charging port. You'd wanna charge directly off of this thing. And again, this thing not, doesn't need to be charged, right? So 
if you use this with a MacBook or something, I guess that's what they're talking about. You, 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 don't, you wouldn't be able to charge from this. I guess it's not really made for that, so that kind of question doesn't really make a lot of sense. Another question it asks here is, does it support PCIe 4.0 SSD? So it's basically the 4.0, the newer ones. It says it, do, it does, but the transfer speed is only up to the 10 gigabits per second. That's only what the interface is good for. And then the other thing it says here is, what is the maximum capacity? It does say two terabytes. I'm not sure why. I only tested it on a one terabyte Intel um, NVMe drive, and that's all I could test on. But So I don't know if that's really a limit or that's just listed here, but I would probably say two terabytes. All right, so now what we're gonna do is a black magic speed test. Now, for full disclosure, everyone's gonna be different. I used a one terabyte Intel NVMe SSD drive. And again, all drives are different speeds. This one's particularly fast, but it's, you know, we're going through a 10 gigabit connection. So theoretically, you're gonna have a limit of like 1.2 gigabits per second if, if you're even lucky, right? So let's go ahead. I did this test earlier. I'm gonna show you my screen here. So what did I get when I had that specific drive hooked into this thing going into the M2 Mac Mini? I'll let you know here. Let's take a look. All right, so you can see the speeds there, they're not too bad. Again, it's not gonna be the same speed as if you had direct storage inside of the M2 Mac Mini. So you're gonna to have to obviously take it with a grain of salt, but it's plenty fast for doing even some 4K editing I do. And then, you know, just anything I do in general, it seems fast enough for, I've had no problems with it. So it's just a good way to add additional storage, just like you would an external SSD drive, but it's all built into your little stand here. Um, again, let's just kind of take a quick peek at this really quickly. Um, I'll show you some pictures up close as I'm talking, as I'm kind of going through this, but really it's a really simple type of device, right? You're just basically getting a few ports, it's a stand, and it, it kind of hides the storage of the SSD drive. It costs about 70 bucks on Amazon, I'll have a link to it. And I just wanted to get it out there because I know it's kind of a hot topic right now, and a lot of people are buying these M.2, you know, um, M.2, <laughs> the M2 Mac Minis, and uh, I just wanted to show people what's available out there. And I'll put some, you know, you can see the directions here, I'll put them up really quickly and you can pause them if you want to go ahead and just take a look at that. Um, one thing I did want to say is in the box, I had some extra stuff, so I didn't particularly use this um, for my test, but basically in the drive here, they actually had the instructions or in the box here, and it does come with some heat, you know, heat tape for the SSD drive and a little mounting screw so you can actually mount the SSD in there. But beyond that, it comes with a bag that it wraps around and it comes with the device and that's about it. So that's what you're getting, 70 bucks, but it's an ingenious product. I like it quite a bit. You tell me, is it something that you would buy? Is it something that you're interested in? I like it. I hope everyone else does and likes these kind of videos. Please support my channel and subscribe if you can. If you buy it for me, it helps the channel, but buy it any way you want. I don't care. I'm not talking you into it. Get what you need. Don't buy any more. We'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.